questions, bro. That's right. Okay. Good puff and Richter. I was waiting for the mix-up. Like, you know, some players will go in the button check and play a different character. Of course. And then, you know, when the match starts, I like, actually, I play Joker, bro. It's like, ah, my bad. Here we go. My let's get B. it. All right, let's go. Game at number one. This is best of three, friends. So you ain't got a lot of time to figure it out, okay? This is trial by fire. Okay. This is exactly what I was expecting. Okay, you're going to catch Jigglypuff in air. Again, we're just going to build that wall of fire up. What you doing at that ledge? Yeah, most frustrating thing to deal with here is absolutely going to be getting through uh, Richter and just obviously being able to just kind of zone you out. And as Puff 2, you'll like take so much you know, passive and accumulative damage, it just kind of gets frustrating. It's like, dang, I'm already at disadvantage with that low weight, man. Having to get in here and take all these hits, it gets a little challenging. Yes, it does. It is certainly not an easy task, but... We'll see what uh, Surrender's going to do right here to bring himself out of this deficit. I think, again, once they break that zone, once they get up close and personal, see, then they start to sweat a little bit. Yeah. Your best bet is to try to maintain as much space away as possible. Nice was able to pound through the cross. I just want to see some crazy puff combos, Ooh. bro. Yeah, I think you're about to get what you asked for I don't here. Know if you heard. I think yesterday, Base Mage got ninth over there in Japan. So. Did he really? Yeah, man. So puff, Puff's trying to put in some work this weekend. Okay. I'm not mad about it. Like I said, it can be a little bit of a uh, slog breaking through those defenses of Richter. Mm hmm Right now, already puffed easily in kill percentage. Barely in those triple digits, but that can be enough. Oh, looking for that falling up here. Just trying to get fancy, of course. Not really with the best buttons in the game. I guess the same could be said for both of these two characters. So, we're really looking for the right setup. Okay. Not going to be able to survive too many more of those. This is still Jiggy Puff we talked about. Nice rolling through danger. Doesn't get the grab, but I do like Ooh. the attempt. That might be. Okay. Not quite. Just keeping the stage control. I mean, you know, keeping it simple at the moment. Nothing fancy, but you've got Puff at 142. You need to put this stock away. There's no reason to let this character hang around for too much longer. Ooh. Might not have a say in the matter. Surrender. I'm trying to make a play. That's right. And I like that. Instead of going all the way off stage to make a play, you know, just kind of staying at the ledge. Okay, you know what? Let me just go for the rinse and repeat and get you back off stage again. There's the up throw. Man, that up throw must suck if that wasn't enough to kill you. Yeah, that's <laughs> that what I'm saying, bro. Oh, my Lord. I feel like the longer this match goes on, to the more dangerous a Jigglypuff player becomes. It's like, okay, you know I'm super light, and you know you can't really kill yeah. me. See what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm going to start picking you apart. That's what I'm saying, bro. You cannot let him stick around that long. But that was just a really good uh, read on exactly where uh, Richter was going to head. So, credits to surrender on that one. Mm -hmm. Dude, I want to say, how do I say that name? Uh, I'm saying Zayu. Zayu? Zayu. Zayu, okay, I was like, I don't want to push this, man. I don't want to be the, the fool, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here trying, man. Cody! <laughs> <laughs> Zayu, surrender evened up right now. Okay, not trying to surrender this game at all, but nah. unfortunately, the way this one is kind of looking, it's definitely going to be a slower paced one, and for good reason. I think both these two characters are very setup based. I think two very different ends of that spectrum, one projectile. One definitely looking for like a read at the ledge or some sort of proper jumping into something. Yeah, you probably see, oh, oh. good cutting there. I'm a nation. Not going to be enough to do it, but I like the positioning and the reaction as well. But you'll notice, too, you know, Surrender trying to roll in there, get any of these aerials to connect some up tilt attempts as well. But, oh, my oh. goodness, nothing working. And there you go. The cross going to end it on that one. This is a significant deficit to be facing at the moment. Yeah, that, going deep that time, too. And again, I think sometimes you just have to really expend all resources, exhaust all options to get stocks taken on these two characters. Uh, nice. I love the delay. We knew down there was coming. That's actually the first time I think we've seen Surrender really apply some pressure off stage. I, yeah. I think it's just a testament to how well Zayu is just giving them that defense. Like, yo, bro, you're not getting in on me. I got F tilt to keep you at bay. Woo! You're going to feel that one. You have plenty of space between the two. Was that Sing connects to no one? And now it's basically becoming a little bit of an onslaught from Richter. Saw the lead, yes, and it only continues to grow. Okay. Nice back here, taking him away from the platforms. No business while you should be off of your feet unless you're going for short hop nair or something. Oh, no up air. Right. He's, he's getting close right now. But unfortunately, playing cat and mouse here, and for very good reason. Cannot afford to go for a trade at all. I think both characters kind of suffer from that fate. Obviously, Zayu will not want to go for a trade because they don't want to be off stage at this percent. Yeah, I mean, Zayu is completely in the driver's seat. Like, there's mm -hmm. really no reason to commit to anything at the moment. Just looking for that close and blow. That's going to end this first game. Got to imagine it's coming any second now. <laughs> Even right. the rollout gets interrupted. Round two, okay, makes it to the ledge. Okay, oh, man, it's like a mini game right now. Yeah. X marks the spot right there. We go into the next game. Definitely a slower one, but like we said before, for good reason. Again, these are 
you know, two characters that are very uh, methodical, I think, when it comes to their setups. You know, we certainly see that with Simon and Richter. At least back in the day, we don't really get to see as much of them anymore. But yep. back in the beginning, when people did play this character, we see some of the craziest setups out there. Well, that's the disadvantage of playing Jigglypuff, in a, I guess, in a matchup like this. I mean, really, Richter just has all the advantage. All he has to essentially do is just take his time, yeah. keep the space between them, and uh, he's going to be good to go. That's right. A little... Rinse and repeat for game two. Might end this one in a 2-0, but Surrender does have the ability to counterpick here, so we'll see if we can pull something together. I'd like to see a little bit more, uh, some aerials, a little bit more fairs, a little bit more bears. I mean, Jigglypuff has some, some disruptive tools and just annoying ones at that. Definitely. Uh, in those aerials, so I'd like to see that a little bit more. No, you're 100% right, man. I think uh, we have talked about that kind of in the beginning that you know, Jigglypuff that's able to jump in on you. I mean, not only looking for the damage, but I think there's a lot of safety in her aerials too with like Nair and forward air and back air. And I'm not entirely sure what the quickest option out of shield for Richter is, but the out of shield game is not really Richter's, you know, strong suit. It is the physical zone and the projectile zoning. Yeah. So I'm trying to mitigate you even being close to like down to a zero. Um, we'll see what the turnaround is going to be here. Again, you know, this is best of three. Not a lot of time to figure it out, but I think that's one of those exceptions where the match went on just long enough to where both players could be like, okay, this has been enough match. I'm starting to figure it out. Let's apply it for game number two. All right, no character switches. No. Was that a Kalos pick? I was like, I'm a little surprised about this mm -hmm. just because it's so roomy, you know? And I almost like, I just want to get in as quick as possible with Jig. That's just me. That's just the way I would approach it and think about it, but. Renders might be a comfort pick, might know something we don't. So uh -oh. see if it pans out, going super low right there. But it is Jigs, not going to have a problem getting back to that ledge. That's right. Went for the delay, too, on the pound there that time, just in case I wanted to get a little handsy off stage. I mean, we don't typically see it from, you know, the Belmonts. We might see a drop off in there, depending on where they're at, or maybe a runoff fair. But yeah. for the most part, they're here for the ledge game. Wait a minute. Nothing off the forwarder, but okay, I'm loving, loving the attempt. Okay. There's up tilt. Woo! Nicely done. Waiting for the... Uh, for the landing there, too, to punish accordingly. This is a great start for Surrender. Okay. Nice. Oh, get put get put to sleep. Oh, no. It don't even matter. It Goodbye. Matter, yeah. Having plenty of time to react out of that. Great job. Mm -hmm. Kalos pick paying off. Maybe, uh, maybe definitely a comfort pick that's working out. I like it. Yeah. Again, you just have so much space here, man. I think it just kind of opens up the door for innovation on your combos. Again, these are two setup-based characters. Oh, I Woo! love that up tilt. Okay. Up Jesus, bro. Up tilt is so good, too, and it's also kind of safe on shield as well. So, damn. Jigglypuff right here kind of cooking right now. Surrender said, put your hands up, man. Yeah. It's over for you. Absolutely disgusting. That's going to be a stock on, but the whole lead right now is going to keep Surrender in the lead. Definitely trying to force this game number three. Mm -hmm. I like where we're heading, Rod. I think so, man. I, I think we're going to get that game number three, especially if we get stuff like this. After these hard knockdowns, putting them in the guessing game blender on, is it safe to roll? Is it safe to go for it? just a normal get up? Yep. And in that roll, am I rolling into Jigglypuff singing? Because we've seen that happen a couple times, too. So, see right now, Surrender just kind of in full control, as you said before. You know, has one hand on the steering wheel. See what I'm saying, bro? That. I love that. Doesn't get the KO there, but again, just the recognition of where you're going. What? That's enough to KO? Bro, I'm trying to Center stays like 69 after hit. That's OD. If you space that thing properly, plus the residual damage, Jigglypuff's in some real trouble right here. And this is exactly what Surrender, I would imagine, is worried about. Do you want to make sure if you're going to go for, for, you know, sing and rest, you know, in a matchup like this? You want to make sure that it's guaranteed KO. Dang, that is crazy to me. Mm -mm. All right, obviously at a deficit, but Richter still very much so in this. Avoiding those up tilts, the dash back is wow. enough to K. Oh my goodness, I don't know what that puff is stuffed with, but it's that sheesh. two tons of fun right there. That's going to be a KO in a game number three. That's right. Beautiful turnaround right there. I was a little worried that this was going to be a quick 2-0 and a handshake, but um, I think more importantly, I'm just learning a lot about how this matchup is supposed to go. I yeah. think these are two characters, again, I've seen a lot, but I've never seen them played against each other, especially this kind of caliber of play. This isn't the traditional pools play that I'm used to. These are two very battle-tested individuals here. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Game number three. Sure to be a good one. That's right. Oh, good. Now you come correct with the music selection. Whenever you go against somebody and they are selecting the music, be wary. Be wary, you might be, be in some trouble. If I put snake ear on, you in some trouble, bro. <laughs> Talking about what a three. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Darkness and silence. That's me, bro. That's my power up. Mm -hmm. Even though I guess she doesn't actually sing in this game due to copyright concerns, but we got the instrumental. Okay. Three, two, 
Let's see who's going to be singing that victory tune at the end of this set here. We got Zion. We got Surrender still throwing it down. Game of number three. And I'm very, very curious to see how this one is all going to unfold. That last match was definitely the Surrender. So we've seen a, a beautiful you know, execution test of just up tilt on shield. That's minus six. The dash attack, very quick option in Jiggly Plus Toolkit. Is able to do away with that final stop. Definitely broke out all the options on Jiggly Plus behalf. But I don't know, man. Bell minus is one of those characters when you're projectile based. You're never really out of options. Yeah, you know? that's very, very true. I couldn't agree with you anymore. Here we go. Big game number three. Didn't even think we would get there after how the first game unfolded, but yeah. Surrender definitely has some tricks up his sleeve for game number two. Let's see if he got some more. Or will Richter reign supreme? Mm -hmm. Clash and blows right now. Oh, nice. I think that just muscles through the holy water. Yep. Sometimes you got to, bro. Yep. Utilizing those aerials very well. That's what I wanted to see more of. Nice. Go for the holy water right into the F tilt there that time. Again, a really strong anti air. She has to watch now how she jumps. I mean, it's not enough to be able to jump in. You got to make sure you space that properly because you don't want to be on the receiving end of too many holy water uh, F tilts. Man, you ain't lying. Let's go. Okay. Oh, damn. Nobody home for that, but the back air will connect. Well done. He said, knock, knock. Open up, bro. Come on now. Oh. Here to collect some. Okay, nice. Axe gang. Does he get anything off it? And yes, he again just chiseling away, nickel and diming. You can't just jump around for free, but I get it. Jumping is such a key component, I think, in uh, Jiggly Plus Toolkit. Just got to watch how you do it now. Yeah. Okay, nothing off the up tilt. Again, man, a lot of whipping around. Man, surrender, surrender smart, too. Definitely taking his time. Oh, this could be a... Oh, I see what he did. The preemptive up beat just in case Surrender was going to commit fully. But unfortunately, did it a little too fast where he wasn't close enough to grab mm -hmm. the ledge. That is a huge whiff and a big advantage for Surrender now. Mm -hmm. he just has to maintain his lead. That's right. Of course, it's going to be a task much easier said than done. Wait a minute. This is Jigglypuff. I can't, I can't trip. No. This Jiggly, wait a minute. This is Jigglypuff. I might need the trip. Wait a minute. You're a little too light to be tangling with him at this ledge, especially if you're not going to snap right away. Jigs is water. getting absolutely held down on this left side. I love it when a plan comes together, man. Man, this is kind of reminiscent of how he lost the other stock. He's not able to get off this left side. This pressure from Zayu has been amazing thus far, and that's going to do it. Yeah, wow. Not any kind of advantage being gained off of that early stock loss. Mm -hmm. Surrender taking a moment to collect himself, understand, like, man, I really let that one get away from me. That's right. You had the lead, my boy. You were the X-Man, he said. Okay. That's it. Considerable amount. Okay. That's holy water. And again, that time jumping clear over it. Not even trying to face it with the linear sort of mindset. I'm just going to jump way over this. I don't want to try to deal with it anymore. Dash attack. Smooth option. Of course, frame probably five very quick but very laggy too so of course we're not really going to see more of that until probably the end of the match if we even get there that type of way again 79 percent really feels like you know 90 100 percent when you're jigglypuff oh man another axe in the corner this, yeah this is terrifying right now oh, oh my goodness i think that's going to do it absolutely zayul not allowing that sd to affect him at all overcomes the deficit to take out Surrender in that best of three. Great set between those two. Richter Puff, not a matchup we get to see too often, uh, but those two definitely entertained on the big stage. 100%, man. Um, you know, there's not a lot of characters that can kind of handle Jigglypuff from the distance away from the ledge that Richter can. I think, you know, you have some exceptions like Min Min, of course. You know, yeah. you have, um, I'd, I'd imagine Byleth if you tilt down F Smash. But there's not a lot of characters that can really make her sweat. When she comes back to the ledge, a lot of times she's at the ledge, bro, but I like that. Kind of throwing a wrench in that plan, saying, yo, you might be off stage, but you're not.